Mark Zuckerberg and his wife gave $500 million to Harvard for research and intelligence. It is one of the largest private gifts to Harvard ever. The money will be used to start the Kempner Institute for the Study of Natural and Artificial Intelligence. So why is the Zuck spending half a billion dollars on this? Is it pure altruism or is there a deeper motive? Before I touch on that, let me explain what the institute is about. The Kempner Institute was named in the honor of the family of Mark Zuckerberg's mother. The foundational idea behind the institute is that natural and artificial intelligence are deeply interconnected. Currently, neuroscientists work on natural intelligence and computer scientists work on AI. These two groups currently don't talk to each other very much. At the Kempner Institute, they cleverly appointed two co-directors, Sham Kakade, who's a computer scientist, and Bernardo Sabatini, who's a neuroscientist. They're hoping to create a feedback loop between these two fields. On one side is natural intelligence. As of today, human biological intelligence is still the most intelligent agent on this planet. AI can surpass it in very narrow domains like chess, but overall, human brain is still the king. The idea is that we can use insights from neuroscience to create more sophisticated AI networks. Then you can study these AI networks, figure out how they work, and that in turn can give you an idea how the human brain works. Let's talk about some specific examples. The various neural networks in our body are not built all the same way. For example, the olfactory neural system is different from vision processing. So maybe we need to have different architectures for different artificial intelligence networks as well. One place where AI is really lacking is what we call common sense in humans. It would be a huge breakthrough to figure out how this works in the brain and then able to replicate it in AI networks. And the other part of the feedback loop should work as well. We are starting to gain insight on how AI networks work which might tell us how it works in the human brain as well. Experimentation on biological brains, either human or mouse, is very costly and slow. I can see that we could build a digital twin brain to test hypotheses faster and cheaper. And once we understand how the brain computes, we could use this knowledge to figure out how to fix diseases. For the wealthy part of the world, Cognitive decline will probably become the most important factor behind decreased quality of life. For this natural intelligence, artificial intelligence feedback loop, you need a critical mass of scientists in both fields. And it is reasonable that Harvard, one of the most famous universities, is a place to do so. You need expertise in neuroscience, cognitive science, biology, psychology, social science, behavioral science, to get that outside of the box thinking for an AI breakthrough. Harvard has all these departments, plus it is also close to MIT and the general Boston Research Hub. Some details about the money. Everybody's reporting the $500 million gift, myself included, but in reality, actually the Kempner Institute will receive $33 million per year for 15 years. The funds will be used for three different things. First, 10 new faculty appointments. All of these will be dry labs. Second, more compute power for the Institute. So buying a lot of GPUs and really powerful computers. And third, resources for students. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Probably some scholarships and things like that. If this Institute is successful, which field do you think will benefit more? Natural intelligence research like neuroscience or artificial intelligence? Let me know down in the comments below. So back to the Zuck, why would he spend half a billion dollars on this? Option one, he just wants to do some good in the world. He and his wife pledged to donate 99% of the meta stock they own to their foundation. I'm aware that Mark Zuckerberg currently doesn't have the best reputation in the world. He seems to be pretty hated by the public, but I think people are overly harsh about him. And just like with Bill Gates, the more philanthropy he does in the future, I think the public will soften up and his image will rise in the public's view. Option two is more sinister, but the end result might be the same. Once you have a lot of money, let's say over a billion dollars, the extra money makes little difference. It is more about the status and fame. I mean, if you have a billion dollars, you can pretty much buy anything you want already. And funding cognitive research might be selfishly the best way to spend the extra cash. Mark is almost 40 with amazing healthcare so he should be able to avoid common health problems like heart disease and most forms of cancer. The most likely cause of his physical demise will be cognitive decline once he starts pushing 80. So this $500 million bet might be the best way to buy himself extra few years of great quality of life half a century from now. It might be a selfish reason, but ultimately we might all benefit from this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.